YouTube and Facebook now. So just a shout out to anyone who's been following along with us. This is Friday night uh, live stream from the Bright Warehouse. Um, yeah, stoked to have you with us. So we're going to cover a few bits and pieces today. A bit of a celebration going on. You might hear some people riding up and down the street because people are picking their bikes up, which is always good news for us. So you can see ST250s arrived, that is awesome. But today the big thing is Moto MX450s hitting the road. So some boys are out here, they've got a couple on their trailer, just two brothers bought theirs and picked it up. Um, and yeah, I don't know, what a, what a celebration to finally get the 450s out. Um, and we're pretty proud of what these bikes are. So everything we're doing, if you're new to following Brat, uh, my name's Brad, I'm the founder of Brat. We've been doing this for like 15 years or a bit longer. Uh, we're a family business. We're doing everything we can to be underdogs in this industry and take on much larger competitors. Uh, we've got hundreds of passionate or thousands of passionate customers who join us. Um, and these live streams are great because I'm doing our best to make um, even if you're interstate, feel like you're a part of our um, you know, local business, even though we're effectively fully online these days. So um, yeah, welcome if this is your first time jump on, ask any questions. It's really good for us to chat like this because uh, I just want to give a massive shout out to our supporters and those that own a Brath and love it and even people who know us because uh, since we've gone online, the, the passion for Brath has increased but also like those against us have in, has increased and we get a few haters on these um, Facebooks giving comments so I'm sure there'll be some entertainment for you but just a shout out to those who are with us. We really appreciate hearing your stories and your supporting us and defending us online. It means a lot to us because um, this matters. This is all we do as a family is motorcyclists and we love seeing people catch the passion for motorcycling. That's really our position as a company is to help people get into our sport and love motorcycling and we want to be Australian is number one value bike so in each category so got a few stories to tell tonight we've got uh, Assad um, who we just showed over on YouTube if you're on live stream with us there but man he's a wild story he embraces or, or really like represents everything we try and do here at Brap. he wasn't a motorcyclist got a bit of an idea maybe he'd get his license looked around um, ended up deciding on the Brap ST250 and then just caught the bug he was gonna buy the bike just to ride around and get about for practical needs caught the bug and you know the passion for riding ended up crossing the Nullarbor over to Perth and back um, and did it twice in the end his bike ended up having 32,000 k's on it before he sold it and got his full license and now has a couple of full-sized uh, Japanese bikes that older bikes that he likes working on but he sold his brat to one of his mates and he's got 42,000 k's on the bike and yeah I reckon that's an awesome story so we'll show that at the end um, Going to show you a bit of video just of our um, assembly process here. It's all go here, we're full swing. We've hired a new assembly manager or site operations manager. So Bryce has joined us. He comes with industry knowledge from Nissan uh, and the motor industry, which means a lot to us. We want to be a family business that's passionate, that's close to what we do. Like, you know, you're talking to me, I'm the, that type of thing. But we also want to have professionals here and experts here and people who have done it before type thing. So it's great to be um, having, having people like Bryce join us who our quality controls improving, our work outputs and efficiencies improving um, and we've got an incredible team here so I'm really proud of that, we'll talk about that a bit tonight and of course delivery updates, um, we'll talk about that, hopefully I can share my screen with you if that works tonight but um, I want to show you guys the Brap Support Centre because we're doing everything we can to be accessible that you can talk to us, we have you know half a dozen people here who all they do all day is talk on the phone and reply to support tickets um, and inquiries uh, from our um, help centre. So we are here, we're putting out a lot of communication on um, that type of thing. And there's a bit of criticism that we sometimes get from people on the internet is um, that type of thing, because we've come out of 2020 um, and put out a whole year of bikes, one whole year of bikes all at once. So we did have a difficult start to the year with such a high volume of bikes going out. So we're kind of on top of that. Things are coming into order. Um, good news is if you're looking to buy a Brat motorcycle, we've gone ahead and built bikes ahead of time. So we're doing everything we can to offset the risk um, of delays. Um, that's Paulie, my dad, Colin. <laughs> He's a head mechanic. You should get to know Paul. He's a legend. We'll get him on here soon. But we're doing everything we can to make sure we can get you know, offset the risk of delays in this crazy season um, that our world is in at the moment. So um, yeah, MX 450s are in stock, dirt bikes are in stock, Moto 3 black uh, bikes are in stock. 
Moto 3 white bikes are about two weeks away and we've built extra stock. ST250's now in stock and we've gone and built about three months worth of extras. Um, yeah, so we're doing everything we can um, to get ahead of our demand. Um, and also a great week this week, we're signing up dealers. So we're appointing exclusive territory to dealers right across the country. Um, and we had some incredible, see you Aids. Have a good weekend, snuck past there. Um, we, we uh, yes, had some great conversations this week with dealers in different regions. So uh, yeah, we're looking to appoint um, the best dealer in your region. So if you've got a dealer that you know or you think we should partner with, please talk to us. You guys are the ones that are driving a lot of these conversations. Actually, four of the like, high-end dealers that I spoke with this week came from, uh, one of them was, he'd already been servicing heaps of bright bikes in his area. He said, they're a good thing and I know you guys are going somewhere so I want to join. Um, another one um, had had a customer come in and say that, you know, you need to get on this bright thing. So it's awesome when the bright owners group and people who know us, people who are servicing our bikes like other dealerships, people who ride our bikes, our customers are recommending that, um, yeah, the local guy becomes our representative and we want to partner with dealerships in each region. So anyway, that's a bit of a summary. What else should I show you? Um, Eve, let's talk about um, the quality control stuff. Um, do you have the video there, mate? Um, we'll roll a bit of footage here just of um, inside the bra assembly line here. But everything we're doing is we've uh, implemented ISO 9001 based quality systems and we're improving more and more on firstly our productivity, secondly our consistency and thirdly just making sure we're constantly evolving the consistency of our bike but also the reliability of our bike. We offer lifetime warranties so we have great support. Um, we have lots of spares here, all that type of thing, but it is important, especially as a high volume manufacturer, we put thousands of bikes out on the road um, that we get better and better and better at all the little details of quality control. So hence why, um, yeah, it's been a big investment for us to put extra staff on is, in this area and also hire expertise, um, like operations type and site type managers like Bryce. So is that playing there, mate? Awesome. Oh, sweet, that's all. <laughs> I showed you a bit of stuff that I should have been watching with you guys. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, what else should we talk about? I want to point you guys, if you're looking to get it, like want some support, if you're someone who's looking to buy a bike, please speak to us. Um, there's, you know, contact us buttons all over the website, but please contact us or jump on here with a message and Lisa or one of the dealer team will get in touch with you. If you're someone who owns a BRAP and you want support, go to support.brapmotorcycles.com. We're pushing this all through Zendesk. If you're someone who knows tech stuff, uh, Zendesk has been an awesome platform for us to help um, facilitate our outward bound um, communication and that's getting heaps better. Our average response time at the moment is 24.6 hours. That's coming down. We're getting quicker and quicker at resolving issues and questions and stuff. But I just say like it's something we manage, it's something we measure here. Um, and that means that sometimes it can take a few days to get back to you so don't be alarmed if that happens we're just a high growth company with a lot of um, yeah a lot of communication happening here so um, sometimes it takes some time um, so that's cool um, that's really it for today guys like just want to give a massive shout out to everyone who's riding this weekend um, I should check my questions if you've had a question for me please uh, jump on I've done a YouTube today as well so um, I could have answered a lot of stuff um, let's see Oh yeah, I'd love to. I can't see my laptop screen though. Um, is there a way? <laughs> you can show it? Ethan's trying to help me. That's all right. Go to support.brightmotorcycles.com. Here we are. Questions. Um, Questions. That's really it for today, guys. Oh, Spano saying 2016 ST250 is going strong, mate. You're one of my favorite YouTubers, so I love that. Um, Brandon asking about the Moto3 uh, delivery update. Please check the delivery updates page. It's under more on the website. Uh, but guts of it is on Monday, we'll get an update from the shipping line. Man, it could be next week. I think it might be scheduled for next week, but you know, this is crazy times for logistics. So please just wait till Monday to see the latest update, update on that one. Um, um, what else we got here? Phil asking about the Moto E. Um, oh, great question, man. So the Moto E is a huge innovation for us. Like shout out to anyone who's watching uh, that's 
either purchase the keys to a Moto E, you can get one with a 500 buck deposit. Um, so that's pretty cool. And end of year, they'll be on the road. Um, he's asking about the final specs on the dashboard for those. So the Moto E is the same fairing and looks as the Moto 4. So if you go to the Moto 4 bike, you'll see it looks awesome. And we've bolted the, um, um, the electric powertrain into that you know, rolling chassis. So it's pretty cool. But there are a few minor specs that are subject to change because we've never ADR approved an electric bike here at Brap. So we're learning a few bits and pieces. So the dash will change. That's one of those things that will change, mate. That's why we haven't got a proper photo of it on there yet. So um, uh, Daniel asking what days are bike pickup days. Please talk to Eden about that, bro. You can email dispatch at brapmotorcycles.com. Um, but Wednesdays and Fridays, you can collect your bike from the warehouse. Um, thank you, Steve, for your support there, mate. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, it really means a lot to have you standing up for us online. Same to you, I can see you there, Tanil, as well. So that's awesome. We showed Tanil's video last week of her pinning it, doing her first highway merge. So good job on your Moto 3 up there in Brisbane. Um, Daniel asking about dealers in Sydney. Not yet, uh, bro. We've been doing our uh, direct to consumer or rider direct program, which is really our build to order process. So um, everything's through the licensed dealer PWS Motorcycles who have the full uh, running of brapmotorcycles.com. So go over to that website and you can purchase a bike on Super Promo. Um, um, yeah, so that's good. Mark Oliver saying, looks like you'll be ready for my order later in the year. Mark Oliver, that is good news. So we want that. Can't wait to see you riding. Mark's been following along here. Full disclosure, he's a mate and I've been revving him up saying he needs to buy a bike. So good to see you, mate. Um, so Robin asking, have we actually received ISO 9001 certification? No, we run a quality system in line with it. It's audited by the RVCS, uh, the Department of Infrastructure here in Australia, uh, the government. So we run in line with ISO 9001, but not accredited 9001. Um, so that's interesting. Um, 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 Sunshine Coast. Uh, I think Abd is saying he's the fifth longest ST250 waiting, so I'm not sure how you knew that, but um, yeah, sorry to hear that you've waited a while, but good news, you biked here, so that's awesome. And um, Sunshine Coast, please, uh, Eden or Jack will be in contact with you once the trucks are booked. Man, trucks have been very difficult to get out of here into Brisbane and Sydney at the moment because of all the lockdowns, but it's all happening. So, um, oh, Josh, WA MX450. Um, yeah, come visit, man. Come visit, it would be awesome. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to have you over here and show you what we do here, mate. So yeah, very good. Um, Tom there, just want to give you a shout out to you, mate. I really want your support. I've seen you've been uh, quite negative on the Facebook groups this week. We want your support, man. I reached out to you myself this week. Um, and yeah, there was a mistake on the spec sheet of the SS125. We said it was a seven litre tank on the specs. It's actually a four litre tank. But as soon as we realized that a few uh, weeks or months ago, whenever it was, we updated that. So just a shout out, mate, please be with us. Um, and yeah, um, Gary saying, how's the electric mountain bike going? Um, yeah, real good. Actually, Kieran French has got it. You might've seen a YouTube video of him. Uh, we've had a bit of development by Bramar Engineering around the corner here, developing the linkage system a bit better. So they'll be in stock later in the year. Um, Daniel, receiving your ST250 soon, good news. Um, uh, Robin, looking forward to your call, that is good news too. Jack, um, whose office is right here, uh, he does all the options and extra calls and it, oh, his real job is to ring and verify your address, your payment, all that type of thing. But as part of that, he also talks to you about options and extras and make sure um, that if you want fitment or don't want fitment and all that sort of stuff that we're organized. So. Good news, Scotty Glover saying 2021 street party. Mate, I think we might be too old now. Scotty Glover was one of our, um, one of the guns who used to come and ride our bikes and we had um, trailers that were freestyle ramps. So he'd do backflips and uh, get the crowd revved up. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. Got a lot of people pumped on riding. So Scotty Glover, always time for a comeback, mate. Um, um, <laughs> Mike saying shout out to Jack, completely forgot about your ST250 until he called. So that's awesome <laughs> and good rundown. Yeah, he's a good man. We've got a great team here. Just want to say thank you to, you know, Alex here does our fitment, Eden who just walked back in here. She's in charge of dispatch and it's been a very difficult job recently with all the changes and that sort of stuff happening. So um, it's pretty awesome and Jacko doing all his uh, option upgrade calls and verification. Here's Eden, come on the thingo. 
I was just saying hello about saying thank you. You've been doing a great job in a difficult area. Forgot her phone. So anyway, is that it? Ethan, have I covered everything? I think that's it, guys. So just a... Oh, MX450 video. Yeah, there you go. Good thing I got Ethan here. So I actually, big news, I got to go dirt biking, which is so good. So uh, I got a video. I haven't actually watched it yet. Ethan's put together. But one of the things that I wanted to show people is the MX450. When I go dirt biking, my mates have a 21 model KTM 300. and Another guy had a beta 300 with all the gear, recluse clutch, the crake, um, the Stegs pegs, um, you know, the... Uh, of course, like uh, um, tuned up suspension, all that, race tech gold valves, all that type of thing. Another mate had an RMZ 450, another mate a KLX or KX 450F. Um, so I try and ride with all types of bikes and my goal is that any bike we build, they were the number one value. So that means that you should be able to hit the bush with your mates have spent 15 grand on their 450 and you should be able to buy a BRAP that's what, six and a half grand and should be able to go rip with them and not miss anything. Um, now reliability is the big question. We get asked, you've seen videos like, I can ride this fast enough, you know, except for the hill that I get stuck on. You'll see that video in a sec. But anyway, that's more rider than anything else. But I can keep up. Sometimes I go faster than my mates. They'll give me a stick about that. That's my goal is to go as fast as I possibly can in a single trail, because um, I love that. But we want to show people that the MX450, what it can do. Um, so this video is, I tried to kill the 450. So we went dirt bike into uh, Blue Rock Dam, which is about oh, two hours from here in Frankston. Um, it was so damn cold, it was not funny. Um, but we found this hill that was super steep anyway, hadn't been ridden for, looked like it hadn't been ridden for like two years. It was covered in mold, like it was green, you'd be, probably be able to see in the video. But then there was water ruts everywhere, so no consistency and tree roots like going crossways. And I'm short, so every time like I get a bit wild on the hills, you know, I was crashing and I just got stuck. Anyway, I pinned it for like about 30 minutes. Like I just held this thing absolutely pinned trying to get up this hill and I was stuck and yeah, just horrible to my bike. So the video is going to go up on YouTube. It's called Brad Tries to Kill His MX450. You'll see smoke coming out of the thing or steam, steam coming out of the thing everywhere. I completely boiled the coolant um, and I boiled it out of the bike. I mean, 30 minutes just on the limited of wheel spinning is not good for a motorcycle. But the point is, and the context I'm giving is, I finally got to the top of the hill, did two more hours of just pinning it and riding and single trail type riding and um, yeah, loves it, no problem. So I've been really stoked with the reliability of the MX450. My long-term, my two long-term test bikes are about four years old um, and now we've got dozens of guys that are taking delivery of them. So it's good news, yeah. Anyway, MX450 still on promo. That's some fun. Hell yeah. I'm boiled, huh? Is that steam or? Yeah, steam. Oh, okay. Poor thing. We're gonna do the best. Oh. Oh, Man, this is horrible. <laughs> Yeah, so that is how you cook an MX450. It makes my uh, trail bike skills look terrible, so that's embarrassing. But 
man, I'm way shorter. Shane's like this tall, so as soon as he got out of control, he'd just put his feet down and be sweet, but I'd fall off. So I was just boiling that thing up. So anyway, the testimony is that the MX450 didn't miss a beat, didn't get a tool out, um, and it's going strong. I've flogged the hell out of it for a number of years now. So. Anyway, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Awesome to have your support if you're with us and I uh, really appreciate that. We're fighting real hard to get better and better and keep sticking it to the big guys in the motorcycle industry. And uh, we love that you guys are checking out what we're doing and getting behind us. And yeah, hope you have an awesome weekend riding. Send us photos, please. Love to see what type of riding you're doing this weekend. So have a good one. Talk soon. Bruh.